In this video, we're going to be taking a quick look at the Cat Cam wireless security camera, which is completely wireless because it doesn't need wire to transmit data or to plug in to get power because it has its own solar panel included. This camera is also PTZ, so we'll be able to pan, tilt, and zoom in. Hi, this is Justin from Simply Smart, where we make smart home technology as easy as one, two, three. So if you're interested in smart home technology, consider subscribing for more content like this. Also check out the video description for the three simple steps to start building your ultimate smart home. And like I said, in this video, what we're going to be installing is this Cat Cam PTZ wireless camera. And it's pretty big size uh, like compared to my head. It's about maybe half the size of my head. So basically back in here is the battery pack and at the bottom here there is a USB port right there and that's where you're going to charge the camera. And this is the camera itself. There's a little flap here. This opens and you can reset the camera in here and there's also a power button and a spot for an SD card as well. So as you can see, very simple. Now to get this set up, it was very easy. I already have it set up already. All you have to do is download the application and I'll have that on the side of the screen. This is also the solar panel that comes with it. So it's pretty big. I mean, my hands are pretty big and it's about the size of my hand. And it just plugs into the bottom of right here where the battery pack is. That way it can charge when the sun is out and you don't have to worry about changing the batteries. Also, if the solar panel wasn't cutting it, you could always bring out one of those portable battery packs and plug it into the camera to charge it. That way you don't have to take it completely off and take it inside or something like that because the batteries are not removable. It's like sealed in here, so. All right, so basically why I got this camera is because we have some bird feeders here and check that out. We came out one day and the bird feeder was completely destroyed. So you can see it right there, completely bent over. Now we do have a camera way up on the house up there, but it's super far away. So if we go up there, I'll show you what it looks like from up there. So this is basically looking down the yard. So you can see that the bird feeders are super far away and all the action happens at night, of course. So the quality is even worse. So I figured what I needed is just a completely wireless camera that's going to transmit the data and everything. So I'm going to put it actually over there on the fence, right behind the tripod here. So I'm going to put it right up in this area here, and then that's going to come back and look at the bird feeders at night. That way we know what's going to be going on, and it can record right to the SD card on the camera. Now to install the camera, we have the holes here on the side here. So we just have to put it up over the bracket and then we just secure it with one of these little guys. I do wish that these were not like hand twist in. I know it does make it easier to install, but it also makes it easier to steal. All right, so let's test and make sure that the camera is actually working. So let's open up the app now. All right, so this is the app right here. It's called Cloud Edge. Go ahead and go into there. All right, so over on the device tab, we can tap onto that. And it will load up. You can see the camera is facing this way. So if I put my hand here, there it is. Just a touch of delay. And also we have the PTZ. So we can turn it to see me. And you can just tap it. Oh, well, it's pretty good. It'll be good enough for now. And you can see, so if I walk away, It's just a little bit behind actual time. All right, so now if you go to the settings cog at the upper right hand corner right here, and you can get, you know, receive alerts, um, but you can also hit installation guide, and this will help you determine um, 
the signal strength of wherever you're going to put the camera to be sure that you know once I drill all these holes in the fence if I wasn't getting a good Wi-Fi signal that would be bad and I would have to relocate it either closer to the house or somewhere else um, but this is good this is normal um, so basically it's using my phone to determine the strength right here um, so it is good and it is working fine now what I'm going to do here with the solar panel is I'm going to install it on top of this fence rail here but how the Sun comes it kind of comes from over there then it goes up like this and then sets over here also behind us here is trees which are basically blocking the Sun at its strongest point now the house gets complete Sun over here but the trees block a lot of the Sun back here so I doubt the solar panel is going to be getting much energy from the Sun because the Sun's energy is the strongest when it's at its peak so I'm only going to be getting the Sun in the morning and in the afternoon once it gets past the trees or before the trees over here so let's go ahead and stick the solar panel on real quick now one thing that I didn't notice is the back is not actually completely flat because there's this bump out here where you have this thread to thread in um, to the mount so it's gonna be hard to actually tape this on there if I can't get probably actually going to install the mount right here Alright, so there we go. We have our solar panel installed right here, and I just put the extra wire on one of the antennas here. Alright, so we'll get some footage here and see what it looks like, and we'll finish up the video. Alright, so it's been a few weeks since I have installed the Cat Cam 100% wireless camera. So let's take a look and see what we've captured and just look at the app a little bit and tell you what I think about the camera. So we go into the Cloud Edge app on our phone and then it's going to bring up our cameras here. So you can see this is our camera. We tap on that. It's automatically going to load in the live view at the top. So this is the camera right now and you can see SD is at the bottom. If we tap on that, we can change it to HD and it's just loading up the higher quality image now there we go and then remember this is a ptz camera so i can use my finger on the image itself and slide left and right to move the camera so that's pretty cool and then there you can actually see the solar panel and the crazy thing is this has been out there for several weeks every time i check the battery it's at a 100 percent and we are actually close to winter and that solar panel is in the shade most of the time so it's pretty crazy that it's able to power the camera completely um, and it's always at 100% so that's totally awesome I mean there is no wires on this it's connecting to the Wi-Fi um, and it's getting power from the Sun so it just sits out there and I did install an SD card um, because I did sign up for the cloud service but it's only free for a certain amount of time so you just get an SD card you stick it in there then you can record right to that SD card now I'm in the history tab at the top so this is the live tab here. Um, this is the history tab here. And then what this is gonna do is just gonna show you all of your recordings. And if we actually tap on the alert section at the bottom here, it'll tell you that, okay, motion was, was sensed at 404. And then you can tap on the next one down. It'll load in the next one. Um, I have the motion set on super sensitive. So it could just be, you know, some leaves blowing or something. It'll just play this clip. And then what it will do is it will jump down to the next clip automatically so you can see right there it jumped down now also in the history area you can tap on calendar and then you can look at particular days so if we go back to say the 13th we can see uh, my wife looking for poop to scoop and if we go to the alerts and tap down to 10:33, and then we have some action in the upper right hand corner there and it will just keep going through the recordings that we have um, there is a magnifying glass here so you can tap on that and kind of zoom in on the recordings if you wanted to so you kind of see where they begin and end so if we go back to the live tab um, you can take screenshots here so if i just tap that i just took a screenshot you could also do intercom tap on ok to that and that allows you to talk back and forth if you wanted to you can also turn off motion detection here at the bottom 
So you can turn it off at the top here, or you can turn it on. And you can also, let's bring it down a little bit. I think 10 is just too sensitive. Um, and then alarm working mode, you can tap on that. And here you can say um, alert will be triggered only when human motion is detected. I actually turned both of those off because I was trying to capture animals. But if you're only interested in people, you'd want to turn both of these on. That way you wouldn't have a lot of you know false alarms. You would just see people when they show up. It's smart enough to know when there's people. And then the alarm interval, I have that off. Um, and then your recording time, I change it to be 30 seconds instead of 10 or 20 seconds. So you can mess around with these. Maybe 20 seconds would be better. So we're going to change that. The alert plan, um, you could add like different time frames and have it different during those time frames. Obviously, you can record. So if I just tap that, um, now we're actually recording live. And then if you tap it again, it will stop and it will save that clip. Now you can also do the PTZ um, without touching the image. You can tap on this and now you can um, tap the arrows at the bottom. So we can move it a little bit We can look up at the trees. And then now you're seeing actually a little bit of the dome that's on top of the camera. Uh, so let's go into the settings of the camera real quick. So the device information is just going to tell you about that. Um, if you wanted to receive notifications on your phone, you could do that. I turned that off just so I didn't get annoyed by that. Um, you can share this device. So if you want to, um, you know, give access to someone else, you can do that there. Your network indicator, you can turn that on or off. Um, your time setting, you can change it to be 12 hour or 24. Your image setting, um, you can do um, change these if you wanted to. And you can flip the screen if you have it mounted a different way and change the night vision. Alarm management, we already looked at this. Um, that's just like the motion detection. Um, battery management, you can see that the remaining battery is at 100% and I have not done a single thing to that camera. It's just sitting back there recording and it's doing an awesome job just by using the sun's power, which is really neat. Recording management, um, this tells you the capacity. So it looks like I have quite a bit of capacity left. And if you had cloud storage services, um, you could have something there. And then here you can always check for a new version to see if you have the, the latest software. It's automatically going to update. And actually it just updated um, before I started this video. Now you can also go down to the album. So if you tap on that, this will be anything that you saved. Um, so I did capture no bears, unfortunately. So no bears, but we did see a raccoon. Um, these are, this is the video clip that we just recorded right here. So when you record something, it automatically goes into your album. So not much going on there, just the clouds are moving. And this is the snapshot. So there is no video to play here. And you can also flip through them like this. You can tap on the delete icon, tap the one you want to delete, and tap delete at the bottom. And then it says, are you sure you want to delete it? Yes. So that's pretty much it. I mean, this is a pretty good camera. I mean, it's only around $130. Um, once you set it up, it's just gonna use the solar power, which is awesome. You don't need any wires. Um, the quality, I don't know, it's a little bit low for me. It's only 1080p, which is pretty good. But now the newer cameras are much better than 1080p. They're like 4K and, and all that. So I think I might, um, if I were to go back, I would probably buy a better camera, um, just spend a little bit more money. I mean, it's probably going to be, you know, two, three hundred dollars maybe. Um, but if you're going to put it out there and you're going to use it, um, I would definitely um, spend the money to do that. But overall, it's a good camera. I like having it back there because, like I said, my other camera is way up at the house. So this is like covering the backyard section. I'll leave a link in the video description to the camera. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I read and respond to every single comment. Also check out the other videos on the screen now, and I will see you in the next video.